What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Trivia. This week we're doing the chemical archetype. So the chemicals are a series of monsters named after or formed from elements and minerals. Their ace monster is the water dragon. They were originally used by Bastion Misawa in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime series. Though one member of the series, Hayao Zanryu, was first used by Seto Kaiba in the second series anime. So, how about we look at each one of the monsters and what they are based on. First up, Carbon Eden. His effect is if this card battles a fire monster during damage calculation, this card gains 1000 attack during damage calculation only. You can banish this card from the graveyard, special summon from your hand or deck, one level seven or lower dragon type normal monster in face up defense position. You can only use the effect of Carbon Eden once per turn. Now this monster is based on carbon, which is reinforced by the monster's effect. For example, when carbon is placed under pressure after millions of years along with heat and time, it turns into a diamond, symbolizing the card it summons in its anime appearance. Now, carbon is a chemical element with a symbol of C. It has an atomic number of six. It is non-metallic and tetravalent, making four electrons available to form covalent chemical bonds. Now, some of you guys might be a bit more savvy on the periodic table than I am, so if you want, chip in with some other periodic table facts. Go for it. Now, this card's effect when it battles a fire monster is a reference to Carbon's flammability. This card first appeared in episode 21. Bastion Masewa used this card during his duel against Jaden Yuki. He summoned this card on the first turn of the duel. Jaden's elemental hero, Bastinatrix, then attacked and destroyed the card. Hyo Zanryu. His card description reads, A dragon created from a massive diamond that sparkles with blinding light. Now, this monster's name is actually Diamond Dragon in the Japanese. Due to this, it could mean that this card is an upgraded form of Carbon Eden. As again, to reinforce the point, pressure over long periods of time turns carbon into diamond. Diamond is a metastable allotrope of carbon where the carbon atoms are arranged in a variation of the face-centered cubic crystal structure called a diamond lattice. Gibberish to me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> in episode 68, Kaiba was the one to actually use this card during his tag duel with Yami Yugi. He used it against the two rare hunters. Dutrion. His effect is you can discard this card, add one bonding spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one Hydrogedon, Oxygedon, or Dutrion in your graveyard, special summon it. You can only use each effect of Dutrion once per turn. Now the monster is named after Dutrium, also known as Heavy Hydrogen. It is one of two stable isotopes of hydrogen. The nucleus of Dutrium, called a Dutrion, contains one proton and one neutron, whereas the far more common hydrogen isotope, Protium has no neutron in the nucleus. Now this card physically resembles Hydrogedon, which makes sense as it too represents an atom of hydrogen, albeit one with a higher neutron count. Now this could be reflected by this card having one more level, star, 400 more attack and defense than Hydrogedon. Referencing the fact it's got one more neutron, Oxygedon. Its effect is when this card is destroyed by a battle with a pyrotype monster and sent to the graveyard, inflict 800 damage to both players. Now this monster's name is a portmanteau of oxygen and the suffix Don, which which in Latin means tooth, as this is commonly seen in dinosaur names. Oxygen is a chemical element with the symbol O and atomic number 8. It is a member of the calcogen group on the periodic table and is a highly reactive non-metal and oxidizing agent. By mass, oxygen is the third most abundant element in the universe, after hydrogen and helium. Speaking of, Oxygedon's effect is a direct reference to the process of combustion. And this monster appeared in episode 12 when Bastion Masawa used this card against Chaz Princeton. After Bastion summons this card, he uses it to attack and destroy one of the weaker Chiffonian soldiers. Hydrogedon. His effect is when this card destroys a monster your opponent controls by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon one Hydrogedon from your deck. Now this monster is based on hydrogen, which is a chemical element with chemical symbol H and atomic number one. Fun fact, hydrogen is the lightest element on the periodic table with a standard atomic weight of circa 1.008. 
Apparently that's light. <laughs> now this card's effect is probably based on the fact that the monster is based on hydrogen, as hydrogen is the most common element in the universe, and the fact that it can summon the same of itself kind of makes sense. Now this card actually resembles a Ankylosaurus, and this monster appeared in episode 12, again used by Bastion. Water Dragon. His effect is this card cannot be normal summoned or set. This card cannot be special summoned except by the effect of Bonding H2O. While this card is face up on the field, the attack of Fire Monsters and Pyro Monsters becomes zero. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, it can special summon two Hydro Gedons and one Oxy Gedon from your graveyard. Fun fact, this card has an unnamed fire counterpart shown with Bastion, but it is never seen in the anime or manga. And I guess it's probably called Fire Dragon. Water, also known as H2O, is a polar inorganic compound that is, at room temperature, a tasteless and odorless liquid, nearly colourless, with only a hint of blue. This card's summoning method is a replica of the chemical structure of water. H2O. This card's final effect appears to represent a chemical breakdown from water back into its component parts, hydrogen and oxygen. This card's attack is 1000 points higher than Oxygedon's and its defense is 1000 points higher than Hydrogedon's attack. This card, Valkyrion the Magna Warrior, Mech Lord Astro Mechanical, Gate Guardian, Flying Fortress Skyfire and Machina Force are the only TCG OCG combined form monsters that are neither fusion monsters nor require their parts to be banished to summon it, like the A to Z series and the Armatile the Chaos Phantom series. This card's name and appearance is aesthetically similar to Aqua Dragon. As well, it shares a lot in common with the monster mythic Water Dragon. And this monster appeared in episode 12. Bastion uses this card during his duel against Chaz Princeton. He special summons this card via Bonding H2O. The card's effect then activates, reducing the attack of Infernal Incinerator to zero. This card then attacked and destroyed Infernal Incinerator, winning Bastion the duel. Water Dragon Cluster. Its effect is cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned from the effect of bonding spell or trap, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summoned, you can activate this effect. Until the end of this turn, change the attack of all effect monsters your opponent currently controls to zero. Also, they cannot activate their effects. You can tribute this card, which is a quick effect, special summon two copies of Water Dragon from your hand and or deck in defense position ignoring their summoning conditions. This card's name refers to a water cluster, which is fitting as it looks like two water dragons combined into one. In chemistry, a water cluster is a discrete hydrogen bonded assembly, or cluster of molecules of water. This monster is of course the upgraded counterpart of water dragon, and this card has the highest level of any sea serpent type monster. Moving on to the spells and traps, bonding D2O. Its effect is tribute two Deutrion and one Oxygedon from your hand and or field. Special summon one Water Dragon or Water Dragon Cluster from your hand, deck or graveyard. This special summon is treated as a special summon from Bonding H2O. If Water Dragon or Water Dragon Cluster is sent from the field to your graveyard while this card is in your graveyard, add this card to your hand. You can only use the effect of Bonding D2O once per turn. Now, D2O is the chemical formula of Heavy Water. Heavy Water, also called called deuterium oxide, is water composed of deuterium, the hydrogen isotope with a mass double that of ordinary hydrogen and oxygen. The heavy water produced is used as a moderator of neutrons in nuclear power plants. Bonding DHO. Shuffle one deuterion, one hydrogedon and one oxygedon from your hand and or graveyard into the deck. Special summon one water dragon cluster from your hand or graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add one water dragon or water dragon cluster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. DHO is the chemical formula of semi-heavy water. Semi-heavy water is the result of replacing one of the proteum in light water to deuterium. It exists whenever there is water with light hydrogen and deuterium deuterium in the mix. This is because hydrogen atoms are rapidly exchanged between water molecules. And this card is the first bonding trap card. Bonding H2O. Tribute two hydrogenons and one oxygenon. Special summon one water dragon from your hand, deck or graveyard. Now this card is a reference to water, as one molecule of water consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Interestingly, the reactants in the experiment are liquids. 
But hydrogen and oxygen are gases at room temperature. Hmm. And finally, a test tube and a Erlenmeyer flask, also known as a conical flask, are shown in the picture, both of which are used in laboratories where the H2O bonding would occur. And with that, guys, that's another Yu-Gi-Oh! archetype done. What did you think of this archetype? I didn't actually know it was called the chemical archetype, but pretty awesome nonetheless. Let me know anyway what you thought. Thanks a lot for watching, and catch you later.